In the following video, we'll look at how you can collect and apply taxes to your products and components in Chargeify. The system calculates the taxes based on three factors. If your product, component, or one-time charge is configured as taxable, whether you collect taxes based on your customer's shipping or billing address, and the tax rate for that customer's address. If your business is based in the European Union, we support separate tax rates for digital and physical goods, and we also support VAT tax, including a VAT opt-out when your customer enters a valid VAT number. The first step in configuring your site's taxes is to select which products and components are subject to taxes. To configure your product or component as taxable, first navigate to your products page, then select a specific product or create a new one and select this product is taxable. Our EU merchants can define whether your product is a physical good or digital service. Next, you'll want to require either a billing or shipping address. This is important in determining your customer's taxable jurisdiction. The tax rates will be the same for all of your products and components on your site. You cannot set different tax rates for products sold in the same jurisdiction. Once you have determined which products and components are taxable, you can set the applicable tax rates. To navigate to the tax page, first click Catalog, then Taxes. You must first set your tax origin address. The tax origin address is your business address. For custom taxes, only the state is required. For Avalara, the full address is required. For custom VAT taxes, just a country is required. Next, you can specify whether taxes should be collected based on the customer's shipping address or billing address. Alternatively, you can choose to calculate the tax first on the shipping address and, if unavailable, then the billing address, or vice versa. You can define custom taxes manually for any country, region, or state based upon your business requirements. You may pay a goods and services tax of 3% in one country and 5% in another. Similarly, you could manually set a 5% tax for customers living in California and a 6% tax for customers living in Ohio. Let's go ahead and create a custom tax together. We'll create a custom sales tax for all of our customers living in Texas. We'll name the tax Texas Sales Tax, select General Tax, and then finally select the country and state. And then we'll finish by adding 8.25% for our sales tax. You can define taxes for as many jurisdictions as you wish. Simply choose Add Another Tax Rule and repeat the process. It's important to note tax settings such as tax rates and taxable jurisdictions can be changed. Please remember, tax configuration adjustments will affect existing subscriptions to the products and components that you have listed as taxable. You can see a list of the custom tax rates you have defined along with your basic tax settings in your Taxes tab. While it is easy for you to set up custom taxes, many of our merchants use the optional Automatic Manage Sales Tax solution we offer from Avalara. This service is included with your Chargeify subscription at no additional charge. Before you can enable this automatic solution, you must specify both your complete billing address and which regions are taxable. We'll start by enabling the solution and entering our complete billing address. Once you've specified your complete billing address, you can configure the states and regions to apply your tax. After you've set the state or regions, the tax will be applied to the individual products and components automatically. For EU merchants, you have the option of collecting a valid VAT number during signup. The following is an example of a public signup page for a product sold by an European merchant. You can see that there is an optional field for customers to enter their VAT number. The system automatically checks this entry against a list of valid VAT numbers in the European Union to determine whether the tax should be applied. It's easy to gather tax data in the Chargeify user interface. There are four places to find the taxes being applied to your customer's subscription. First, navigate to an active subscription. In this example, we see John Smith, who has subscribed to our standard offering. Select his subscription, then navigate to his Transactions tab. You will see two charges, 
one for the monthly costs associated with the standard offering, and one charge for the Texas sales tax we configured. If you have statements enabled on your site, you can see taxes expressed as a line item on those statements. Again, we'll use John Smith's subscription. We'll click Statements, and then the first statement. And there it is, the Texas sales tax for our standard offering. Next, navigate to the Taxes page. You can view both the Custom and Avalara tax history depending on which one you have enabled. These taxes are also exportable to CSV. Finally, you can view tax charges in our Transactions tab. You'll want to navigate to the Transactions tab, and again, there's John Smith subscription to our standard offering with a Texas sales tax as well. Please note, this menu will give you all the transactions for all of your site's subscriptions. You'll need to search for taxes. It's also exportable via CSV. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Additional information on configuring and setting up your site's taxes can be found at help.chargeify.com. Also, please feel free to contact our support team at support at chargeify.com with any additional questions. Thanks for using Chargeify, and have a great day.